The opening later today, 5 p.m., a new spot of an old favorite, the Cactus Club, opening a third location in the city of Calgary. This one's downtown, 8th Ave, third between in between. Second, second and third. Second and third. Andy was saying the old HMV location, That's right? right? Yeah, there. okay. Uh, Cactus Club culinary director Rob Feeney here this morning to talk about the new spot. He's also going to chef it up with us today. Sure. Um, uh, so let's talk about the new spot. Sure. Uh, menu, is, is it the same as the other Cactus Clubs? New things? What no, are you guys doing? One of the things, I mean, this is our 29th uh, restaurant in 27 years. So yeah. One of the things that, that we always try to do is introduce a few new items each time. So uh, there's going to be a couple surprises on this menu. Okay. Uh, tuna stack being one. This chicken crunch sandwich, which sounds chicken uh, crunch. It's a sandwich. chicken crunch. It's crazy. This is a sandwich that we developed, and uh, you said it, it's highly addictive. It, it is. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 a very Really good sandwich. Really, what I want to really say. good sandwich. So we got the tuna stack. We got okay. yeah. So we're we're we're, we're excited. So and the same vibe eh, is going to be downtown as well. That's it's, in all the cactus clubs. It's yeah. a beautiful room. And one of yeah. the things I think that we really we feel really good about is just the design of our restaurants. Nice. The artwork that 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 we we put in and the general look. It's about 250 seats inside. Okay. There's a big patio, obviously, when we hit summertime. Ah. And uh, it's exciting. We're we're like I said, we're downtown now. So the staff at BT. I got to tell you about the patio. The, the patio. The staff at BT may have a meeting or two there. <laughs> Just because well, we need to discuss things. Well, what's yeah. really exciting too for me, this is the first opening I've done in Calgary because I've been with the company for seven years. So McLeod and Bartle, yeah. I wasn't th I wasn't here for those openings. Oh, okay. So this is actually me the first, first time. One. There you go. Now you've also done cookbooks, and that's what you're chefing with us this morning about, right? Yeah, it's I just wanted to do that. It's winter time, obviously, with the snowfall, right? Like it's. Yeah. I wanted to make something that's 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 fun, that's simple. So and it's, got is, a, it's got a comfort smell to it. What 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 am I smelling here, Rob? Spice and chorizo. Ah, okay. Um, but no, chicken thighs. What it is? This is a braised dish. I'm using some chicken thighs, and the reason we were talking about it earlier, chicken thighs are just a better meat to use. Yeah. They stay soft. There's a little bit more 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 fat in them. Got, they're, guys, they're not as lean as guys like me can't dry it out. Because <laughs> no. there's some fat in there, which no. is which works, right? So what I've done is I've just pre-seared it off with a little bit of flour, and then what I've got it over here just for the flavor is, you know, obviously a little bit of garlic, yeah. a little bit of onion, and then we got some beautiful chorizo, some nice. tomatoes, and all we're gonna do is to finish this off, yeah, is you know get it, get your casserole dish pre-set in your oven to about 350, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm gonna add in here. This is just some chicken stock. Chicken stock. I've got some uh, Kalamata olives, and then I'm just gonna put in my pan here some more. I, some more tomato sauce. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna just add capers right in your pot. Oh, capers. Okay. Yeah. And then once this simmers, yeah. Of course, white wine. White and wine. we have to have the Feeney's white wine. Sure, right? sure, of course. I do, I do have my own wine at Cactus. Too. Yeah. So we're gonna add a little bit of the Feeney's blend in here, top that off. And that's just whatever you want amount, right? <laughs> It's a liberal pour. <laughs> Make sure you have a liberal pour for yourself too. Of course. And then we're just gonna pour this uh, to hydrate. This, this little mix that I made on top. Okay. So what you're basically making is a stew, right? So okay. we're, we're gonna we're gonna simmer this, like I said, yeah. we'll simmer this in, in an oven for about any, anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. The great beauty of this is what you can eat it right away. Okay. Or if you want to, and this is something that you can you can stews obviously always taste better over a yeah. few days. So if you wanted to reheat this, you can reheat it a few different times. And so the beauty go. of it is, is, is once you've made it, you've got a meal for the week for your family that you can reheat. And, you and this some, is the finish. You put some pasta on the side. This here. is just nice. a little bit of pappardelle I mixed with a little bit of butter. Yeah. And then, we, and then uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of fresh herbs on the top once it's finished. Awesome. And then just grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Yeah, why not? On top. You can do both if you want. The more the merrier, right? <laughs> That's what I like. You love <laughs> I, I do like cheese. It's like it's snowing, just like last night, right? But you it's bet. The cheese, yeah. But yeah, so this is like I said, this is I think this type of dish for people is there's a little bit of heat in it as well. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of spice. Uh, it's got a lot of flavor, and at the, at the end of the day, this is an affordable thing to make. I no think you're not, you're not going to have to spend a lot of money. Uh, you know, you've got noodles in a dish, but what I like about this, especially with my kids, is I can reheat this and they love it. There you go. Uh, if people want to find out about you or Cactus Club, how do they do that? Uh, they can go to well, they can go to cactusclubcafe.com. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah. There you go. Good stuff. Thanks, Rob. Thanks. Appreciate Cheers it very much. Fun. Good to see you too as well. We'll check it out.